Okay, I just want to run a quick video on uh, some tapping that I'm doing in the, the tubing for the deflection issue. And uh, this is one of those cheapy Chinese made tappers. Yeah, I hate the fact that, I, that it's Chinese, but um, I'm using the V block there and um, just put the, this is DOM, D O M, uh, which means drawn over a mandrel uh, piping got a one inch inside diameter hole, two inches total outside diameter. Anyway, I, um, I drilled some, hole, some holes in the top for set screws. Drilled one here and drilled one here. And now I'm just tapping. All right, so I, I don't, you probably can't pick this up with the camera because this camera's not that good, but I already tapped this one. But I just want to show you guys how I go about doing this with one of these little uh, manual tappers. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it's made really easy if you got a V block. Okay, the V block is very uh, helpful whenever you're dealing with round material. So I just set it in there. This particular uh, workpiece is a little long, so uh, the back was you know a little heavy. So I just put the, one of the quick clamps on there that comes with the V block and just lightly have it on there so it won't, you know, so this won't move around. And um, we've got one of the little tapper holders, or I guess it's called a collet, and just a regular uh, uh, tapered tap. And this is not a, these aren't blind holes, I'm, I'm going straight through, so I don't need an end tap. So taper tap is fine. And you just, you know, stick it up in there inside the uh, tapper holder. It's supposed to click up in there and there's a little indentation. Uh, but this thing is cheaply made and after a while the ball bearing up inside of here just kind of gets stuck and rusts out or whatever. And so you you know what I do is I just stick it up in there, I hold it with my hand and then I, and then I lower this, I just lower the whole thing down. Nice and careful middle hole, line up at the hole, and then just start tapping. And uh, I've already done the total of five, five tubes. I've done two, two little ones right there. I got two bigger ones to do. And um, this one, this one here is halfway done. Cause I got one more hole in the back to do. Back over there. Anyway, just want to show you guys how I do this. You know, I'm sure you've seen videos of this type of tapper before, but um, in the beginning, I just set the, the the tapered tap in the hole. Make sure it's I visually inspect to make sure it's in the hole, nice and square, right? You don't want the tap leaning one way or the other, or front or back. You know, so I visually inspect to make sure it's in the center of the hole. I look at it from the front, and I look at it from the the side. Make sure the tap is you know sitting square as much as possible, and then. Um, I always apply a little pressure right in the middle here. I apply pressure with my hand downward at the beginning as I'm turning. You know, it doesn't have to be a lot, but it's just got to be enough to get the tap going. And I keep that pressure on there for, you know, enough to where the tap, the tap has started, you know, a good decent amount down into the hole. And once it's in the hole, I know it's threading pretty good. Then I just grab it, you know, grab these handles with two hands and just start turning with, with enough pressure on top of the handles. You know, it's enough. And just keep the pressure going and just keep turning. And it works really good. So uh, I think I'm doing quarter by 28, which is a, for here in the States, that's a, a national fine uh, thread. And I got my uh, quarter by 28 set screws right here. So when I'm done, I test it and make sure that, you know, it fits into the keyway of the, of the solid, uh, solid piece of material I'm working with here. So that's pretty much it. Um, I got um, two and a half more pipes to go and, and then we'll do some uh, test fitting back and see if this deflection issue has been solved. But anyway, just want to show you guys how I get that done. A little self tapper. So yeah, I drill it in the drill press with the right size um, drill bit, which there's charts on the internet if you need to know the right size drill bit for what tap you're going to use. Pretty easy to find. And then I just tap it in this. Alright guys, thanks for hanging with me.